All right, so a while ago I made a video about big screen VR and how you can stream movies and TV shows with your friends from your computer. That video has been one of our more popular ones on the channel, but since it's publishing, it's now considered outdated. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the new and easy way to watch and stream movies and TV shows with your friends using your Quest 2 and your PC, as well as address a few common issues that some people experienced in the last big screen VR video. Without any further delay, let's get into it. All right, so before we get started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sign up for a big screen VR account. It's completely free to sign up for, and you can register either in the VR app itself or on their website linked in the description down below. Next, go to Big Screen VR's website and download the PC client. This will allow you to stream your computer to your Quest. Also real quick for those of you who are Mac users out there, unfortunately, it doesn't seem that Big Screen VR has support for Mac yet. As of recording this video right now, if you want to stream from your PC to your Quest, you need a Windows-based computer. Once you have the client downloaded, go ahead and install it and run the application. Make sure to sign in with your Big Screen VR account and it should now be looking for your device. Now it's time to turn on the Quest and hop into the big screen VR app. Once you have your headset on and you're inside big screen, you should notice that your computer is automatically being displayed if you followed the previous steps. If you're having issues with your PC detecting your Quest 2, you may need to double check your PC's firewall settings and make sure that big screen is allowed access through the firewall. Once you have your PC streaming successfully into big screen VR, we can now invite some friends. To invite friends into your room, you're gonna wanna first open up your host settings and fill it out according to your desired preferences. If you just wanna watch content with your friends only, set your room to invite only and set the amount of friends you intend to invite. Hit save and you should now be able to view your personal room ID by hitting the button on the right. Share this code with the friends that you intend to invite and using the social tab, they will be able to enter in the ID to join your room. Once your friends have joined your room, in order for them to see your screen, you're gonna need to make sure you have sharing desktop turned on. If you followed all of the steps correctly, you and your friends should now be able to see your desktop on the main screen. From here, you're all set to stream from any website of your choosing or play local videos from your computer. The only real annoyance with this whole process is that I haven't been able to find a way to control the PC from within big screen VR itself. If I wanna use my PC in any way, I have to do all of the setup on the physical computer itself, and I can't do anything within the app itself. If I wanna watch anything with my friends, I have to first hop onto the computer, select what we wanna watch, and then put the headset on after the fact. It's one of those things that's not a huge deal, but if they just added some sort of feature that allowed me to use my PC from within the app, it would make the experience a million times better. I've tried looking online to see if there is something I'm missing like in the settings to control my PC from within big screen VR, but as I understand, if I need to do anything on the computer, I have to take off the headset first, get everything set up, and then put on the headset when I'm ready. All right, so now in this part of the video, I do wanna talk about some of the things that some people had troubles with in the last big screen video that I made. If you're experiencing problems with picture quality where things look super compressed or really pixelated, make sure to check your stream quality settings to see what your resolution and bit rate is at. The higher the bit rate and the higher the resolution, the better overall image you should get. Another very common issue that a lot of people ran into was when trying to stream from a big streaming service like Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus. A lot of times people were being met with a black screen with the contents audio just sort of playing in the background. Pretty much everyone that was experiencing this issue was using the Chrome browser, which has a built-in HDCP feature. And that tends to a lot of times black out whatever streaming service you're trying to use. So if you're having this black screen issue, I would recommend trying out the Firefox browser because that's what I personally use when watching movies in big screen VR and I have not had any issues with any of the streaming services that I've used. I've tried everything from HBO Max, Disney Plus to Netflix, and all of those have worked flawlessly. And there you have it. That's how you can stream movies from your PC to your Quest 2 and big screen VR and hopefully enjoy some movies and shows with your friends. Please let me know if this video was helpful or not by leaving a like or a dislike on the video. And if you have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Feel free to hit us up on any of our social media platforms and consider joining our community Discord server, all listed in the description down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Blake and for all things tech, games, movies to anything nerdy in between, be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.